sir, uh, I... Sri, Dr. Pratyush, you can start the presentation. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Good evening. And I'm Dr. Pratyush. I'm from, joining from Varanasi. First of all, happy Mahashivratri to all of you. Today is Mahashivratri, the biggest festival in Varanasi. Still, we have lots of patients today. So generally on festivals, uh, Varanasi people have a different uh, uh, attitude. They visit more on holidays. They won't rest at home. So I'm going to talk about this transconjunctival SICS, which I also called uh, modified manual small incision cataract surgery, that is RMSICS. So, so what we have done in this surgery is that uh, we have removed uh, all the unnecessary steps so that this could be done uh, quickly. Uh, obviously, the idea is not to uh, finish it quickly. Idea is to do it, uh, I mean, in a high volume setting, uh, in a good surgery in a less amount of time. So, and uh, with, uh, with an instrument which I have innovated, uh, the astigmatism can be also be tackled uh, during the SICS surgery itself. So what are the modifications? There are five modifications in transconjunctival surgery. There is no injectable anesthesia. So I'm doing it uh, under uh, topical anesthesia. So, and there is no uh, superior rectus brittle suture. There is no conjunctival flap. And uh, the construction of sclerocorneal tunnel is through the Ranjanamaceous marker. And I'm, uh, in all cases, I'm implanting under hydro. So that's the changes. Uh, superior rectus, brittle suture, as we all know, is uh, an unnecessary step. After some point of time, you gain uh, enough control over the eye to, to know that uh, you don't need actually uh, that. And uh, I'm very thankful to Dr. Devashish Bhattacharya, Dishai Hospital, Kolkata, who introduced me to this 0.2 mm uh, Epsilon eye care uh, forceps, which was really making uh, uh, globe stable during the uh, scleral incision uh, for the SICS. But then again, I was having a lot of issues. So I went on to this innovate uh, Ranjan MICS marker. So the advantages of having a, um, sorry, the advantages of uh, transconjunctival surgery is that a precious limbal cells are preserved. The cautery-induced complications like scleral melt and induction of post-operative astigmatism due to tissue shrinkage is completely avoided. The active bleed at the conjunctival site and preserved epistolary tissue help in quicker healing. And it obviously shortens surgery times, which is very helpful in anxious patients. And obviously, the disadvantages are uh, with the with the uh, young surgeon, uh, not very uh, confident in uh, uh, SICS. This uh, bleeding can disturb uh, them in the initial phases. And then incomplete cutting of conjunctiva uh, will lead to an incision drag and that can you know, complicate the matter. So the Ranjan MICS marker actually helps in three critical steps. It has a 360 degree serrated edges uh, that will stabilize the globe. There is a tunnel marker. Uh, you exactly know that you are from two millimeter away from the limbus and your incision is perfect from shape. It's like a stencils, you are doing this. And you also have a coronal axis marker. So you know where is the steep axis and you, uh, you mark, you, you plan your incision accordingly like uh, Dr. Boramani is doing. So, we are planning that uh, on the uh, cornea itself. And hydro implantation obviously has its own advantages and uh, that many of us are now doing, even with our FECO patients, we are doing a hydro implantation that uh, saves a lot of time and a lot of tasks, which recently was a nationwide phenomena. Fortunately, I didn't had any because I used the VISCO only once, only during the rexus formation. So now let's have that uh, look at of the surgery. So this is the Ranjan MICS marker. So this marker is stabilizing the globe. And like a stencil, I am cutting the conjunctiva and sclera in one go. So 
if there is incomplete cut, you can again do it. And once uh, this initial incision is made, we would uh, proceed with the tunnel making. I'm using epsilon 0.2 mm uh, in season to stabilize the globe during this part. Instead of hydro, I feel uh, putting a decongest drop uh, during surgery uh, makes it more beautiful at the end. So you have a white eye, topical SICS with a very shiny cornea. So this is the transconjunctival making of tunnel. And then the rest of the uh, steps are almost same. I have modified as I told you. So, so only during uh, uh, plexus formation, I do this uh, visco injection. Otherwise, uh, rest of the surgery is only under hydro, including the lens implantation. So rest of the surgery is same. I think I don't have to show you the whole surgery. Uh, let's come to this uh, lens delivery part again under hydro. Sometimes I require uh, irrigating vectus after disengaging lens. And once this is out, particle cleaning. And once cortex is cleaned, the lens is put under hydro. So from the side port, the simco is there. And from the main port, the lens is going. So with lens in place, this uh, this conjunctiva which was cut there is uh, put in place by a small pottery. So just the pottery closure of conjunctiva at the end. So this I'm making it here. I'm holding it, but rising it a little bit, two, three, such. So that's, that's it, it's sealed now. So that is my, that's all I have to show. This is pre-op result and probably on the next day, we had a very fantastic uh, uh, result because SICS does wonders to cornea unlike FAPO. So thank you very much. If any questions, I would love to answer.